Hey guys, it's Deb here with Creative Life. Thanks for joining me today. Today we're going to go ahead and start our first project for Renee Bouquet as I am a guest designer for her this month of October. So I just want to say real quick, thanks Renee for having me and thank you all so much for being here with me. Um, so I'm super excited. So Okay, so we're going to go ahead and decorate this frame. And this frame is a medium tree frame okay it is from the beautiful boards uh, collection that she does and oh my gosh so pretty you guys I had to have it when I saw it and I think it's gonna go perfect on top of um, a project that I have in mind so I'm also going to turn this into a shaker so I think it's gonna be fun so uh, there's so many you could I've seen it on uh, you could put photos inside of it I've seen it you know where you could just um, decorate it up and just you know um, place it on a uh, you know canvas um, just really neat fun ideas so I think that turning it into a shaker is going to be super fun so you're going to need some acetate okay and this, so i'm going to be using some textured paste for the tree trunk and then um and then probably in through here a little bit and then for the leaves and everything i'm going to be painting those and then i'm going to place some of this beautiful fine rust glitter that she sent me oh my gosh this is so pretty you guys i love it and i'm going to put, place um some of that on the leaves okay so I am going to also be using some of my um, rusty paper, okay? And I just love this stuff. So anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and play some music for you while I'm doing my <laughs> creation, <laughs> okay? So after applying the paste on the tree trunk, I used my finger to m make it bumpy and by patting it down. And then I came back in with the paste and placed some on the tree limbs. Um, I stopped about midway and then gently patted it down so it fades into the tree limbs. Once it fades into the tree limbs, you can blend it and just smooth it down. So next I used a plastic fork to create the tree lines in the paste. I had so much fun creating this y'all and it turned out so great I couldn't believe it. It turned out exactly how I pictured it in my head. Okay, so that is how I'm going to get started on this beautiful tree. So once this dries, okay, then we're going to come back in and we are going to use the paint. Uh, and the paint, again, is that rusty paper. So I Okay, you guys, we're back. So this is all dried now. After we went ahead and placed our textured uh, paste on that and um, this is the one that I used, okay, on the frame. Okay, so it's that one right there. And now we're going to go ahead and we are going to use some of this rusty paper. And um, y'all, it's been a while since I've used it. So, okay, you guys, so my rusty paper dried out, but I went ahead and sprayed some water in it to use it. And it's, um, it's okay to use. I mean, you know, basically it was just kind of like paint. Um, it's like a, a paste kind of sort of um, that you can spread over items and um, over, you know, metals, wood, whatever. Um, but we're going to go ahead and use it on here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to paint 
some of this on here, all right? And I think I'm liking the look of that. So I might, I mean, if I need to, I can definitely add some brown to this. And I have a bit of um, brown that I can use to make darker, uh, make it darker. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to spread this around and you can sit back. You drink a special drink that you like and just sit back and watch. <laughs> So there is that. Now I'm not quite done yet. So, but I like how this is looking in through here. Um, it kind of, the ridges and everything through the tree kind of remind me of how a tree actually looks. So I, I really like how that is looking. And I like how it, it kind of, kind of looks like bark, I guess, <laughs> but um, I really like the dark ridges of it and everything. I think it's going to look super cool, and um, yeah, so um, I can't wait to put this on top of uh, and make it into a shaker, you guys. I am super excited. Okay, you guys, I'm back. So now we're going to go ahead and add some of this uh, Rust Fine German Glitter Glass to the leaves. Okay, and I'm going to be placing it down here along the edges as well. So you, we're going to grab our, um, our glue and I am using Art Glitter Glue and it's usually what I use. Okay, so now I'm just spreading the glue around with my finger and um, you want to, after you place your glue on top of your leaves, you want to pat it down and smooth it out with your finger so you get more of a definition on your leaves when you apply the glitter. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and grab my glue. Now I didn't do everything all at once, okay, um, but we can definitely add more glue if we need to, okay. So here we're going to just sprinkle that over the top just like that and let it fall and look at how pretty you guys oh my gosh that looks so gorgeous oh my gosh I absolutely love it so I missed a little one right there so we're gonna go ahead and dab some of that on there and then I missed these guys over here we're going to go ahead and just put a little bit of glue there. Definitely dab it, okay, if you're going to um, do something that has intricate um, little like leaves like this one does, okay, you want to dab it because, like I said, that'll define your leaves a little bit more, okay. So I'm going to add some right there. Alrighty, okay. So now we're going to go ahead and we're just going to pour that on there, just like that. And there we go. So, oh my gosh, you guys, this is so beautiful. Ugh, so pretty. Look at how pretty that is. Oh my gosh, absolutely gorgeous. 
I love how it sparkles. Oh my gosh, you guys, so pretty. <laughs> I can't help it. <laughs> uh, so now we're going to go ahead and do this down here. gorgeous so next we're gonna make this into a shaker you guys okay now <laughs> um, I know I went ahead and did it's kind of looks like a fall theme right but actually it's gonna be for Halloween so <laughs> we're gonna take this away we're gonna set this over here to dry for a little bit um, okay but now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start the um, process of making the shaker so First, we're going to go ahead and I cut out an uh, acetate sheet, okay, to put behind here. So I'm going to go ahead and attach that there. And to attach it, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and place some of my score tape along the edges and then just attach that. Okay, so after you uh, take off the backing of your tape, you want to go ahead and attach your acetate to that little frame. Okay, so once you add your acetate to the back of the frame, you just want to go ahead and go around and burnish that down. Next, we're going to add our little foam strips. So you want to add those to the inner part of the frame, like I'm doing here. Once you're done doing the inner part of the frame, we are going to add another strips on the up to the outer border of the frame as well. Okay? So this is what the back should look like once you place all your foam adhesive on the back, okay? The next thing I did is I chose this graveyard paper that I had in my stash and I decided to go ahead and put my frame on it to see where I wanted it and I think I really like that right there. And I'm going to go ahead and cut out the extra tombstones and adhere those down to the back. Okay you guys, so I'm going to go ahead, I went ahead and cut my sheet and I stuck on, I glued on some of the tombstones here. And I also cut out some small spider webs, and I'm going to stick those in there along with some of these sequins that I've got. get all of your sequins inside the frame you want to go ahead and remove the double back strip off the tape okay guys so I went ahead and cut out a Halloween happy Halloween and I'm gonna go ahead and stick it on top of here okay and I just wanted to add a little bit more oh I don't know if the tree will cover it Eek. let me lift that up okay I'm gonna put it right uh, I'll put it right here Hopefully the tree won't cover it. I don't think it will, but there we go. So I went ahead and cut that out. Okay, and I'm just going to add that to there. And now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add this to my little place here. So I'm going to go ahead and add this and make sure I'm at the edge. You guys, I have to be honest with you, making shakers is not one of my strong suits. <laughs> it's not one of my strong suits, you guys. I am not a good shaker maker because <laughs> I am always 
Oh my gosh, it worked, you guys. Yay! And yes, it did cover up the Hoppy Halloween. Ah, oh well, that's okay. So, but there is my shaker. So yay! So I am so excited, you guys. Okay, you guys, so there is our shaker. And now we get to place this shaker on top of the box. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna place this right here. I'm also going to add um, one of these pretty little butterflies on here. I think they're so cute, you guys. And I also am going to use some of the flowers on here. So, and um, I'm gonna cut out some more um, little cobwebs. So I will be right back. Okay, you guys, so now it's the fun part, and I am going to go ahead and attach this beautiful shaker with hot glue to the envelope box. And, um, yeah, you can use double back tape if you would like, but I just used hot glue. It was quicker, and it's easier. <laughs> so I'm also going to be attaching some cobwebs that I cut out, and then I'm also going to be using some of the Renee Bouquet beautiful flowers and that beautiful uh, vintage witch uh, butterfly oh my gosh she is so stinking cute so um, also I'm going to be using one of the little pumpkin witches um, so she's going to be sitting on top of that little frame so go ahead and sit back and enjoy in the photo so or the picture so you guys can see everything and there we go oh my gosh I think it looks so good you guys um, I am really liking it so I hope that you guys are too um, it just looks really good <laughs> I think so yeah so there we go so there is my project for Renee Bouquet. It is going to be a loaded envelope box, okay? And I'm going to share with you everything that I created um, in another video. So there we go. So I hope that you guys like this. And um, again, I will put all the links down below. Um, if you like the um, tutorial, please give me a thumbs up. Thank you all so much for joining me. Um, have a great day, and I will talk to you soon. Bye!